Please, if you'd all sit down. You found the problem with Spike's hearing, right? How you can fix it? That's what I'd like to discuss. There is a great deal to talk about. Come on. Um, I, I don't need to sit. Sit down. Okay. No, 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 I'm okay, I'm okay. Come on, whatever it is, let's hear it, please. I've run all the tests, some twice. In a case such as this, we want to be absolutely sure. Along with the radiographic x-ray examination and the color MRI, thanks to Mr. Slater's generosity, we were also able to conduct electronic promontory testing, as well as test Spike's auditory steady state response and his auditory brainstem response. The results were consistent each time. The hearing deficit in both ears is extensive. Ex extensive? What does that mean? Your son has suffered profound hearing loss in both ears. I'm sorry. He is deaf. Run the tests again. It must be something you must do. Please, do things. please, do things. please, let me finish. See, see, I knew it, I knew it. He's not really deaf. Yes, he is deaf, but... You, you guys are state of the art as far as diagnosis, but there must be some sort of cutting edge technology research going on, something like that. The damage to your son's auditory function is permanent, no, but... No, 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 no. Let, let him finish, let him finish. But deaf children with your son's diagnosis can hear again. How? With an implant? Hey, see, look, I, I told you he's not really deaf. Right, let him finish. No, my son is not deaf. It'll be all right. We'll deal with what's ahead. No, I, I want Spike out of here today. I, I want to take him uh, to specialists who, who can help him somewhere else, somewhere in New York or Paris or Switzerland, where they can fix him and they can fix Spike. Kendall, I'm sorry, but Spike's not ready to be discharged. What, do you, what, what are we supposed to do? I'm supposed to leave him here and, and watch while you guys do nothing? Just, just watch my, my son's confusion day after day, wondering what the hell is wrong with him and wondering why he can't hear? But he can, Kendall, with surgery. A cochlear implant. Ho, 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 ho. I've heard of those. I've heard of those, but Spike is so young. He's so, he's so small. Actually, the younger the child, the better the outcome. No, no, no. I am getting my son the hell out of here. Kendall, Spike is not strong enough to leave the hospital. You know that. Okay, all right. You know what? If they won't discharge him, we will carry him out of here ourselves. I will carry him. Honey, Spike just needs a little more time to heal, and then we can discuss. No, discussion is over. Okay, Spike needs help. He needs help, and he can't get it in this hospital, all right? Now, we are wasting time to fix what is wrong with him. Kendall, you heard what Dr. Norton said. Yes, Dr. Norton said there is a surgery that can help Spike okay, here. stop it. Stop! All of you, please stop. Stop talking to me, okay? Stop trying to comfort me and give me advice. Stop telling me that we can sit back and watch Spike live with this. I can't. I can't. I won't. Okay? Okay, Spike. Spike will hear again. All right, somewhere out there is a cure. I, I, don't, I don't care, I don't care what it costs, I don't care what it takes, but Spike's hearing loss will be cured, all right? Okay, we, it just, that, that, it's not gonna happen here, okay? We need to take him somewhere else because you can't do anything else for him. So can we please just get Spike out of here? Please, can we take him? It's not possible. Yes, it is. It's like it's possible, okay? We make things possible. That's the kind of people that we are, all right? We, we, we don't just sit back and watch. We, we make it work and we make it happen. Please, 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 please do this hey, for me, hey, please. I would do anything for you, but this could put Spike at risk. At risk? At risk? Zach, he's already, he's more at risk here. He is broken. Do you understand me? My baby is broken and they can't fix him, okay? Please, please, we need to do this for him. Please help me. We can't move him, he's not ready. It could hurt him. You don't want to do that. Calm down. Come on. Jack, there will never be a way from all this. Kendall's son is dead. I know that, Eric, I know. And I understand exactly how she feels. 
she will not accept the fact that her little boy has to go through life being being different all i was suggesting way. is that we talk about what's happening honey at the very least we've always been able to talk huh No, I, I want to see Spike. Zach, I have to see him, He's please. still out from anesthesia. Okay, listen to me. There are some doctors, and I'm, I'm not talking about Dr. Norton, but there are some doctors that they always have the easy way out. You know what I mean? Like, like surgery is the only way. All right, we'll get other opinions. I'm his mother, okay? I would know. If something was wrong with, really, really wrong with him, I would know. No. Zach, listen to me, okay? I never, ever dreamed of having chubby baby arms reach up to me or having some kid call me mommy. I never dreamed of that. Do you remember when I was pregnant with Spike? For months, I, I didn't think about holding him or, or kissing him or singing to him. And then somewhere, somehow along the way, I don't know how it happened, I fell for him. I fell deeply deeply, passionately, madly in love with my son. I, I, I talked to him, for God's sakes. I talked to him, and he talked back to me. I mean, he fluttered, actually. And I called him Spike. When I called him Spike, he had this little flutter, and, and I knew he liked it. That meant two baby thumbs up. I told him that I loved him every single day, over and over again, and I know he hurt me. I know he hurt me. telling him that over and over I will keep telling him that and I know I know that someday soon my son will hear me again he will hey sweet boy hey honey mama's right here okay right here okay let's move here. Thank you. He's so still. The anesthesia won't wear off for some time. This would be an excellent time for all of you to get some rest. Eat food, fresh air. I'm not going anywhere, Joe. No, neither am I. It's going to be several hours. No, I, I, I need to be the first one that he sees when he opens his eyes. Just sit down for a while. No, I, I might fall asleep. <clears throat> Not a bad idea. No, we'll wake you. No. Spike needs to know. He needs to know, okay? I've let him down before. Kendall, that's not true. No, I need... I need to see his eyes when he opens them, okay? I need to hold his hand, and I need to kiss him and let him know that everything will be okay. I don't know how I'm going to tell him yet, but but he will know that he is safe and loved. So don't tell me to take a nap, okay, or close my eyes or go for a walk. I'm not going anywhere. We haven't eaten. You haven't slept. Just get out of here for a minute. No, there. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Okay. okay. I'll, I'll check back in later on. Hey. Spike needs you, no doubt about that. And Ian needs you, and I need you. So you got to take care of yourself. And I know you always put other people first, but you got to keep up your strength. Zach, Zach, listen to me. I'm doing the best I can, okay? I'm doing... This is the best that I can yes, do. Yes, you are. I well, couldn't ask for a better, braver mom. Just don't push yourself too hard. I'm not going to lay down. I'm not going to go for a walk. I'm not going to take a nap. I am staying right here by Spike's side until we know how to fix him. Kendall, why don't you go get some to eat, go get some fresh air, I'll watch Spike. I'm not hungry. <clears throat> There's Aaron here. You you go, you, you guys go, all of you go. Do whatever you want, but I'm not leaving. I am, I promised Emma I'd call. I'll be just inside the building if anybody needs me. Go on. I'll check on Ian on my way out. Thank you. I'll be back.
knows. You didn't have to say the words. He feels how much you love him. You think so? I know so. Personal experience. Mommy and Daddy wanted me to send you a kiss. And tell you how much they love you. They'll be in here really soon to see you. Hi. Uh, the Slater baby. How's he doing? Oh. He's, he's charmed all of us. <laughs> Our miracle boy. We expect big things from Lillian. <laughs> big things. Did you hear that, Ian? We all know you can do it. And you have a brother that you're just gonna love. But he needs you to be strong and, and healthy so you can help him. And he'll help you too. We'll all help each other. Like a real family. Of coffee. Level black, please. Kind of? Yes, please. Is there news? I'm getting coffee. You interested?